Um, and now um, I'm going to ask our councilman for the district, Aldous Brooks, to join us. And again, we're so excited. You know, this uh, project started uh, under Mayor Webb. Uh, we've continued it. We've continued it and, and took it a long way uh, under Mayor uh, Hickenlooper and then Mayor Vidal. And now we have Mayor Hancock working with us as well. Uh, and in a similar way, we've had, uh, you know, multiple uh, city council uh, folks who've represented, um, including Carla Madison, uh, the late Carla Madison, who really was a champion for the vision and the community here as well. Um, and now we're so fortunate to have our new councilman here. Um, I was looking at his bio earlier, and, and I can't wait to hear the speech because uh, he's, uh, he's, he has a BA in religious studies uh, and has been very active uh, with the, uh, previously he was the director of the Issachar Center for Urban Leadership, helped to organize Mile High Ministries and the Living Legacy Foundation, and just has a real deep commitment for community and the people who live here. And so, uh, Councilman, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. First of all, thank you for coming out to District 8 and uh, celebrating this collaborative effort. You know, we've been talking about this, uh, you've been hearing about this from the speakers, but this does not happen without great collaboration. And I got a chance to sit and walk through this whole facility with Chris and Ismael um, about a month ago, and I was just blown away about the story that they're telling. Ten years. Ten years. That's a third of my lifetime. But <laughs> this project took a while, and it took a lot of different people, a lot of pieces coming together. And so, you know, we've been saying that, you know, thanking everyone, but I, I just want you all to recognize what's been going on. First of all, to have a development in three of what I call the toughest neighborhoods, uh, Curtis Park, San Rafael, and Enterprise Hill, and to get a successful development, well, each of those neighborhoods praised this development. And I know it was tough getting that stuff through, because uh, I've been in those meetings. But they did such an amazing job, and it was because you included the neighborhood. And so if you look behind you, you'll see the Denver Preschool Program, which I'm on the board for, uh, is a part of this development. You'll see Urban Land Conservancy, which is doing so many great things, which in our district and the city. Um, you'll see so many integrated parts, the, the, uh, uh, the Denver Urban Gardens. I love I love it. And then we got a little dog park over here, which just made everybody happy. Um, and so I just want to thank you guys for that. And I want to, you know, just say this, that I look forward uh, to working in the future with you all. Because we have a lot of opportunities, a lot of trans-oriented development sites coming up in our uh, district that I look forward to working with Councilwoman Deborah Ortega on as well. And so we, we haven't talked about uh, the late Carla Madison um, but this was this was very important to her. I get a chance to sit in her office and see the projects that she worked on that weren't completed, and this was huge to her. And so I, you know, I just want to remember her in this time and thank um, my. She, she's not like she's like my predecessor's predecessor, uh, Elba Wedgeworth, and the hard work that she put into this and this being a part of her neighborhood. This is just a huge deal. So thank you all for coming out. But this is just the beginning. We have much more work to do. Let's not stop here. You know, I, I want to end by saying this. We, we have a large problem here in our city around homelessness. And one of the reasons I believe we have that problem is we don't have uh, access to affordable housing. And so let's keep this going. Let's continue to collaborate and get this thing going. Thank you for coming.